I'm Phil Falcone from the I Buy Houses store in Hatboro, Pennsylvania. Maybe you've uh, driven by my store and seen it. I'm right at the corner of Byberry Road and York Road, right in the center of Hatboro. Actual address is right below. So what I wanted to talk to you about was when people come into my store, they often ask me the same question. They always say, hey, how does this work? You know, how does the I Buy Houses business work? What's it all about? So I thought it might help some of my potential customers if I explain how it works right on a video, right on my website. So that's what I've done. So basically, in this business, the only way you're gonna sell me your house, and the only way I'm gonna buy your house, is if I understand whatever it is, whatever the problem is that you're having with this house that you wanna sell it, I need to understand that. And I need to understand it so that I can solve whatever that problem is. Now, if that means that you you got a job in another state and you need to move right away and I need to settle very quickly so you can, you know, get on with your next stage of your life at the new job, that's something I can help you with. Whatever the circumstances are, uh, could be, could be uh, you're behind in your mortgage and that's something that I can come in and buy your house and bring your mortgage current and help solve your current credit issue because of a mortgage payment not getting paid, I can bring you up to being current again and I can buy your house. That's something I do from time to time that I've been able to do for people to help people. I feel good about that. And that's what kind of transaction I'm looking for. I'm looking for a kind of transaction where you're coming to me with a reason you're selling that house. It could be a problem or whatever the circumstances are. I want to try to solve your problem. And of course, at the same time, I want to buy your house and, and be able to make some money off of it. So it's never going to work unless it works for both of us. And intelligent people understand that, and I'm sure that that makes sense to you. So let's talk about some things that I do that are very different from the traditional world of real estate. So when people normally sell a house, they, they call a realtor. I have nothing against realtors. I happen to be a realtor. I am a licensed realtor in the state of Pennsylvania. However, in this scenario, I am simply the buyer of your house and you are the seller. That's it. No commissions are being charged whatsoever. No commissions. And I've been in the business since 1989. I've been licensed for uh, 20 years. And I've been in the business for 29 years as a real estate investor. So I can help you with all the details of the settlement, the paperwork, ordering title, and explaining all these other circumstances and complex things that really aren't that complex, but probably are to you if you don't do real estate deals very often. So let's talk about the benefits of working with me as opposed to a realtor. The first thing is, is that you're not going to have to pay any commissions. Commissions for real estate deals typically are 6%. 3% goes to the agent representing the seller, and 3% goes to the agent representing the buyer, but the person who's actually paying for all that is the seller. The seller's paying for the 6%. Uh, so that's where the money comes from. It's coming out of the proceeds of your sale. So you save 6% right off the bat. That's a nice chunk of change to save. Again, there are no commissions being charged whatsoever. But the, it's the, the next things I'm going to tell you about that become the real problem. So the way the real estate world works today is you're going to clean up your house, fix up your house, make it look as good as it can, and, and then you're going to do all these showings. The people are going to come marching through your house, strangers, they're going to call you at the last minute, they're going to come when you want to be out, and they're going to disrupt your lives. And all these strangers are going to come through your house and continue to come through your house until you get somebody to make you an offer on your house. And then an agreement of sale is signed. And you figure, great, we, we negotiated this thing and we've agreed to sell it for X amount of dollars and you're happy. But 
This process isn't over by a long shot, okay? The way it works when you buy something through a realtor. The next step that's gonna happen is they're gonna come in, they're gonna do their inspections, they're gonna check out the house, and of course the, the inspector is going to find things, that's what his job is. He's going to find every single thing that's wrong with the house. You got a little drip here, you got a little problem there, every single thing will be documented with photographs and in a report and given to the buyers. And those buyers, are gonna come back and ask you to make all of these repairs. Or even worse, they're gonna ask you to pay for all of it with their guy. So you go through this level of negotiation to get an agreement sale sign, and then you go through a whole nother level of negotiations to do it all again. And of course, you're losing money with each and every one of these levels because you're negotiating essentially means you're lowering your price to accommodate this person. Okay. That kind of stuff never happens with me. When I come in, there's no commissions. There's no inspections, because I'm gonna do my own inspections. I'm gonna look at your house, and I'm gonna decide whether or not I want it. And, and then I'm gonna sit down and talk to you and see if we can figure out a way where we can both get what we need from this transaction. I am not going to give you a number and then sign a contract and then later on come back and try to renegotiate that number even further. I'm gonna give you a number, I'm gonna honor that number, and I'm not gonna ask you to do anything else. I may do some inspections on my own accord, but I'm not gonna come back and beat you up on price whatsoever, all right? So I can guarantee you I'm not gonna ask you to do repairs. Most likely, if, if a house needs repairs, I'm bringing a crew in after I buy it to fix it all up anyway. And then I'm going to flip it, probably. It's probably what I'm going to do with most of them. So if I have to do all these repairs anyway, what's a big deal? I already know I have to do all these repairs. And here's some other things I can do for you. I can clean out your house for you. Okay, so let's just suppose that um, it's a situation where a family member has passed away. And you have a lot of things in the house. And you probably want to go through the house and pick the valuables that you're interested in keeping for keepsakes or to give to your children or whatnot, but everything else, it just has to go. That can be a real stressful situation in that kind of uh, circumstance because what happens is somebody's got to go there and get all that stuff into a dumpster and rent a dumpster and those things can be very costly and before you know it, your dumpster's filled, you got to take it away, you got to go get another one. It can be pretty costly, pretty stressful. Well, you're not gonna have that problem with me. Find the things you want in the house and get rid of them. I'm sorry, take them with you and I'll get rid of everything else. It's that simple, okay? Another thing that happens uh, when you work with a traditional realtor and put your house up on the market, as they like to say, is people are gonna show you that they have a pre-approval from a mortgage company. And sometimes those pre-approvals are ironclad and those people have been legitimately pre-approved for the money. Other times they're not. And when these people put in a financing contingency, all right, on the contract, what that means is that they're that they're have this pre-approval from the bank, the bank's gonna give them the money. But a lot of times what happens is we learn down the road as the bank is going through this long process of underwriting and uh, application processes looking at every little thing this buyer has, the buyer may not get the money in the end. And if they don't, your whole deal blows up. Well, it's not gonna happen with me. I'm a cash buyer. I come in with the money, I can show you the money before you even sign the agreement of sale, and I'm gonna come in and just make it happen. I've had, I know a lot of people who've come into my store who had their house under agreement, and the buyer of their house who was working with a realtor had to have their buyer sell their house. So they had to sell, the buyer had to sell their original house so that they could buy your house. And if either, that's two deals now that have to go through. They have to sell their first house and they have to get the money and all the steps necessary to get the money to buy your house. So it's two separate deals going on at the same time. And if something goes wrong with either one of those two deals, your whole deal blows up. You're not going to have that problem with me. I'll show you the money up front, and I'm just going to buy your house. And it's going to be very quick and very clean. Think of it 
much like when you trade in a car at a car dealership is a it's a good way to explain how this works when I take my car to a car dealership I know I'm not getting top dollar for it the car dealerships got to make money off of it and they might fix a few things on the car they might uh, they might detail it to make it look terrific and maybe change some tires and put new inspection on it and whatnot and they'll spend a little bit of money but they know their business and they're gonna make money off the car in the end and that's exactly how it works in the house business as well right you're you're coming to a one-stop shop my store which is at the corner of Byberry and York Road in Hatboro address is below now you can just pick up the phone and call me make an appointment come down and see me at the store and before I even look at your house, I don't need to look at your house right away. I'd be happy to talk to you about what it is that I do in this business and, and ways that we can possibly help each other. Let's face it, if we can't help each other, it's not going to happen. Let me tell you what makes me special compared to all other I Buy Houses guys that are out there. They all operate by sending out marketing and by putting banded signs on telephone poles, I'm sure. Depending on where you live, you've seen those. I buy houses signs on telephone poles. So you know why they call them bandit signs? Because they're illegal. I don't do that kind of stuff. Uh, townships don't appreciate it. You're littering the whole town. You're lit the whole city of Philadelphia is littered with bandit signs everywhere. I don't do that kind of thing. What I do is I have a store. I have a place where you can come walk in and talk to me at any time about your real estate deal. And I think that, that that should lend a lot of credibility for me. It says, hey, this guy's for real. Like, can you imagine, like in Hapro? Hapro is a small town. If I went around trying to uh, uh, steal houses from unsuspecting buyers, my reputation would be garbage, and I'd be out of business very quickly. Hapro is a small town, and if you don't go treat people right, you can be out of business very quickly. And so my reputation is really important to me. I, I own the building that I'm in. I'm not renting it. I own it. Of course, I'm a real estate investor, so I bought the building. And I paid a lot of money for that building. And it's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I don't want to uh, do anything that's going to damage my reputation in the town of Hapro or anywhere else for that matter. So, I mean, I'm a legitimate businessman. I've been doing this for 29 years. I'm 52 years old. I started when I was 23 know what I'm doing. I haven't done anything else in my life except this. So I know this business inside and out. And I can help you. And I want to help you. I get a lot of satisfaction out of buying a house from somebody. And I know that I'm going to make money and I'm going to make money for my family and I'm a good father and a good provider and that gives me a sense of satisfaction. And the fact that you had a problem and I helped solve your problem. That's something I feel good about. That's why I love this business. I feel terrific about being a real estate investor. It's, it's something that you can be proud of and something that I definitely am proud of. And I have lots of testimonials of people that I've worked with. I mean, I've helped people move. I've, I've uh, helped people solve all kinds of problems related to the real estate that they live in. People in foreclosure, I've, I've, I've helped them out of that circumstance. There's a lot of different strategies that I've learned over 29 years, you can imagine. And a guy like me can be very valuable to you because I can help figure out a way where I can make money off of your deal and I can solve your problem and, and allow you to move on to that next stage in your life. So, I, you know, I want to invite you to call me or to email me. My information is right below. The address in my store is below. Uh, stop by my store if, you, if you're maybe don't want me to see your house in the beginning and you just want to come talk to me I welcome that I love that you know I promise I'm gonna put together a quick close if that's what you need people always say we want a quick close but what if you need a slow close what if you need a flexible close suppose um, you're not you're, you're getting this job but you're not sure exactly when it's gonna start it might start in three months or four months or five months there could be some other factor that's determining when you have to leave. How would you like a flexible close date? No one else can give you that, but I could give you that. I can make that happen, all right? And I've found lots of people who have circumstances like that where it requires a flexible close date. Let me talk about one more thing that makes me different. 
Typically, the way the real estate business works is the seller of a house has a realtor that represents them, and the buyer of the house has a realtor that represents them. And these two realtors talk to one another. But the, so a message has to go from the seller to his agent, then from the agent to the other agent, and then from that agent to the buyer, and then back and forth. Creates a lot of uh, uh, paperwork is what it does, all right? I like to call it uh, paperwork ping pong. An over uh, amount of paperwork of every single thing being documented back and forth, back and forth, sign this, sign that, sign this, sign that. A little bit of that is necessary in a real estate business, but not at that crazy level. When I buy your house, you deal directly with me. I'm the owner of this business, I'm sitting in the store almost every day. You can find me if you need me, and you'll be dealing directly with me. So there's not a whole lot of paperwork ping pong that's gonna to have to happen, and there's not a lot of information that's gonna get lost in the messaging because you're the seller and I'm the buyer and that's how easy this business is. And that's how easy we're gonna make it for you. So that you're gonna be happy with the transaction and you're gonna, hopefully after watching this video, you're gonna feel better about doing the whole thing. So I'm Phil Falcone. My website is below, ibuyhouses.store. My phone number is below, my email is below, my address is below. Call me, email me, come and see me. Call me and then come and see me, or just show up and come and see me. Uh, if my red car is out front, says I buy houses on it, maybe you've seen me driving around uh, the Hapro area. I live in Warminster. I spent a lot of time driving around Northeast Philly, Huntington Valley, Willow Grove, Warminster, Feasterville, all different neighborhoods that I do real estate deals in. I don't mind coming to Philadelphia. I don't mind going to the suburbs. Uh, uh, I'm always always open to come and talk to a seller who's serious about selling if there's a way that we can help each other and if there isn't we part friends and if there is hey who knows you know we can find a way to help each other out and everybody makes money and everybody gets what they need from the transaction and we both succeed so i'm phil falcone from the ibuyhouses.store website and i appreciate you watching this video and I hope to hear from you soon. Call me. Thank you.